That's right, joining us right now from Radio Row, Akbar Baja Biamila. Uh, man, look at you. We were just talking about you working out. You look great to me, but you're saying you're not quite there. No, no, no. You know, at, after your playing days are over, it's, you know, last time I suited up was with the Oakland Raiders in 2008. And uh, actually, you know, I put on about 12 pounds. And my wife and I now have four kids, just had twins. And I'm not twins. having an opportunity to get out in the gym because I'm changing diapers and burping. <laughs> 12 <laughs> pounds? Yeah, that must working. be awful to put on 12 pounds. I, I can't, yeah. Can you put a zero after that and wonder what it would be like? Uh, You'd feel pretty crummy. Uh, yeah, 120 pounds. That would put me up. Uh, I'd be yes. over 400 pounds maybe, something Ooh, like that. Gosh, Dang, no. how tall are you, bro? I'm 6'6 six, six right now. Holy uh, crap. 270, so that's a lot. And, you know, I, I did a, a TV reality show uh, this past summer uh, called Expedition Impossible. Uh, it aired on ABC. And I, we walked over 500 miles. I got on camels and horses wow. and all this other kind of stuff. And it was shot in the uh, uh, kingdom of Morocco. And I got down to 243 pounds. So, you know, 243 You have to, to walk in Morocco, though, for 500 miles. Uh, yeah, I know. And didn't eat very much. But, you know, now 243 to 270, you know, that's yeah, a lot of weight. Right. Sweetie, if you're watching and listening, <laughs> I mean, I'm just telling you, I'm going to Morocco. <laughs> and I'm going to walk for about five, 600 miles and not eat a lot because I need to lose about 40 pounds. Well, I'm telling you, if you go on Expedition Impossible, I think Mark Burnett, uh, of course, who's the, the producer of Survivor, he's doing another one. Uh, maybe you should call him up because I don't know where they're going to do the next one, but uh, it was the most intense thing I had ever done in my entire life. Wow, now, and, 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 and you play football. Right. Yeah, so you've yeah. done football, one or two. Yeah. You changed positions. You went from different sides of the ball. You did something that most people never even comprehend. Which is going from offensive no, line? No, 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 no. Defensive line to outside linebacker. Yeah. Is what oh, we did. defensive yeah. line to outside. Uh, oh, for yeah. same difference. No, yeah, it is the same difference, and you bring up a good point. And the reason why we were talking about off air was that you know, as a defensive lineman, you only know a certain group of things that you have to do. Watch out for this block. Here's scheme. my responsibility. Here's my responsibility. As an outside linebacker, I had to go into coverage. I had to be able to understand route route combination, and those are the things that I had a hard time understanding, and which up. I felt really uh, shortened my career because I, I, I didn't have that learning curve. Right. And so, but it made me a better person, a, a better person as far as understanding the game. And that's how I got into doing college football with uh, NBC Sports Network. Excellent. So you're uh, you're broadcasting college, 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 college yeah, ball. I, yeah, I do that for three months out of the year, calling, calling college football game. It keeps me close to the game. So maybe that's why I look fit because I'm still close to the game. <laughs> it, <laughs> so. doesn't rub, it doesn't rub off on us. <laughs> it doesn't. Well, yeah. I'm We're actually right. at the stadium. I'm actually calling the game. There so. you go. Um, you know, I'm hobnobbing. And you know what I do every game before I go in? I always work out with the players, and that way I can gain the players' trust. That's how. That's my. Don't, that's, that's a nice tip. I, I get the inside. I get the players to get comfortable with me, so I can get uh, different play calls, different adjustments. Because when I go in there, you're doing your film studies. Hey, when I hear this and I pick this up, you guys tell me when you see these guys. You see these guys coming out in this formation. They go two by two. What are you guys adjustments? And if you're playing quarters, like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, coach likes us to make this and this adjustment. Like, oh, cool. Thanks, man. And yeah. They and then you sound really smart on the air. Yeah, yeah, right. Look so, at this. Yeah, they're right. going out of the quarters. Here. What I suspect they're going to do <laughs> is they're going to blitz the outside <laughs> linebackers right now. Right. And you're like, and all how the, did you know that? All that because I power cleaned with the guys uh, the day or two days there before the game. Go. Yeah. Uh, I don't know that would work for me because I could power clean like maybe 50 pounds. Yeah, Dude, that's not going to <laughs> <That's not gonna laughs> get you anywhere. <laughs> I have really long arms, and I've always used that as my excuse yeah. for, for bench pressing is that if you have the, the little guys it, with the little squatty no, arms. No, that's true. No, to bench press with longer arms. Are it's always, harder. Yeah, I think the most I ever bench pressed was 405, but I was never able to get to 405? Yes, yeah, I was never <laughs> able to get to the, the high amount because my arms are only – you're at a disadvantage. Yeah, you, you got a long arm. I longer know. arms to travel. 405. Yeah. If I could do 205, <laughs> I'd be right, happy. All right, we're with Akbar, Bob, I Bob give, Jamil. I want to make sure you have a chance to talk about talk, Matrix Turf. Yes, yes. T tell us about it. Matrix okay. Turf. Well, I'm, I'm now working with Hellas Sports Construction, and we specialize in synthetic turf. And so we actually – not we're a single-source company, so that means we're a turnkey. We actually build the field. So not only do we manufacture the actual synthetic turf system, but we actually build the base that goes underneath it, and then we service the field. And so our marquee stadium and our high-profile stadium is the Dallas Cowboys' new stadium. Okay. Uh, we also have Baylor Stadium uh, out in Los Angeles, which you're familiar with. We have Oaks Christian, which is a you know the top football program out there. So we have you know over 600 fields. And so uh, you know I'm here today at uh, Radio Row talking about you know the advantages of your schools, your professional teams installing the Matrix. Uh, turf field that we have. I mean, it is really is a state what is of the, the advantage of the Cowboys Matrix? Stadium is, well, what's, the, 
Well, well, not only does it give you great playability and durability, it's a faster system because it's made of a monofilament, so the, the fibers that really mimics the characteristic of grass, it does not break down, and so it gives you longevity, and players are able to cut and do whatever they need to do. And then concussion-wise, it helps the athletes, you know, because... If my it, head it, hits the turf and has, bounces... We, we have great G-Max. Shock our, absorbing. So the, the way they measure that is by G-Max, and we have a great G-Max for our field, and... Uh, so it, it's, it's like a G-force, only it's accounting for the, the blow fall, The fall to attenuation, the head. absolutely. Uh, Akbar, so does your turf have that, the, the black the stuff? Black yeah, the it's, black it, stuff? It, it's the rubber, and then what that is. What is so, that? So it, it's an SBR rubber, and underneath that we have a synthetic turf, uh, excuse me, synthetic pea gravel, and that simulates what a natural grass would have, which is the dirt. The dirt. So the, the infill. Right. So obviously you're not going to put dirt inside of the, the, the infill. So we use a synthetic pea gravel and rubber, and that helps you with your traction. It helps you get out there. It helps you with the fall attenuation as well. So um, that combination with the pea gravel is only unique to our brand. Everyone else in the industry is using sand, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Is oh, wait a minute. So if I've run on a field that's got the little black pebbles that come and up, and then underneath that's, that, that's yours. If that's underneath that, no, no. If sand is underneath it, it's not ours. Not right. If the pea gravel's underneath it, which is a little bigger than the sand. But it's synthetic. Sand is hard. Exactly. And that's, that's like cement. And that's, and that's exactly what happens. When water hits the sand and it starts to mix in with the rubber, that's how you start getting that that's harder That's where you feel. get the field problems. They talk about the synthetic with the water underneath absolutely. and the problems. And absolutely. And we have a synthetic sand, so it's fully drainable. It's permeable. Uh, it does not mix together. So what sand is so small and fine, they mix in with the rubber, become really hard, compact, and then you start getting players who fall in and getting these concussions. Right, and that, that's not good. And, and I remember the old Texas Stadium where the Cowboys used oh to play. Oh, my gosh. That was that like was concrete. Yeah, you right. fall on that, and you, that was hard. Abs absolutely, and that's why, you know, with this new stadium uh, as the centerpiece of our new system, it put it like this. Getting a matrix field at your school, at your stadium, is equivalent to – being in the flip phone era and getting a new iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that's I what, love that that's analogy. What, it's, it's the state of the art. That certainly yeah. works for our kids. You yeah. go from the old, I mean, go back like a Chris Tucker said, the whole phone with the big rah, nine, <laughs> round one, round one, two. Now, well, you go to iPhone with your system. Now, Akbar's got to get over to the fan experience yes, over there right. and start the, talking things up. And I want to respect that time. Well, we're the official turf for the NFL experience. So if you guys want to come out to the NFL experience and check out our turf, we'll be there. All right. All right. And, and, and uh, our like are there are kids? Kids are gonna have yeah. Ki a yeah kids will be playing on the Hellas uh, right. Hellas Sports Construction uh, Matrix Field, and they'll be having a good time out there. So if you're in Indianapolis, make sure you head out to the NFL Fan Experience and uh, and say uh, hello to Akbar for yeah. us. All right, good. Um, once again, it's the Matrix Turf by Hellas Sports Construction. Uh, Akbar Bajabia Miller. Nice. Thank nice. you very yeah. much. See, I, I got it right. You got, got it right. Akbar Bajabia Miller. Oh, oh see. He was trying to show you. Uh, he was. He, he was trying to show, was trying to show trying me up. To and it backfired on him. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you guys so much for having me. Appreciate the time. Okay, thank you.